Hello and welcome to the Inland News Minute for Thursday, August 26th. I'm Liam Trouchard. About 100 homes and businesses in Lake Elsinore are still without power as a result of yesterday's thunderstorm that hammered the area with lightning and high winds. The storm started several fires in the area, the largest being 25 acres just east of Temecula. It also caused some flooding. Reader Sarah Williams captured a transformer exploding during the storm. You can get all the updates plus photos of the storm's damage on our website. In other news, funeral services are being held today for a Riverside man killed when a truck rolled into a crowd that was watching an off-road race in San Bernardino County. 22-year-old Andrew Theron was one of eight victims of the crash, but he has gotten perhaps the most attention because of witness statements that he pushed his girlfriend, his three-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and the child of a friend out of the way before being struck himself. We'll have coverage of the services on PE.com. A programming note, this week's cover story in the guide section of the Press Enterprise is all about cocktails. Inland Casinos shared the recipes for their specialty drinks from innovative originals to twists on old classics. Also in the section, the audiophile column features Corona Band's City of Thieves and Jennifer Dean's family page takes a look at Walking with Dinosaurs. Joining us now is reporter Daryl Sanchi, who recently took a ride on one of the new high-speed tour boats at Big Bear Lake. So I understand these boats are kind of a combination tour and thrill ride, correct? Yes, they advertise it as a tour of the lake. Uh, the difficulty is the first half of the tour is racing across the lake at 35 miles per hour, which is the maximum speed limit on the lake. The boats could really do about 50 miles per hour. And the scenery more goes by you than you the scenery. Or the boat can turn, spin, uh, uh, do somersaults, well, not exactly somersaults, on the water, but can do almost anything. How much does it cost to go on one of these rides? It's, uh, I think it's about $29 for an adult. It's less for a child. Okay. Well, thank you, Daryl. Well, that's today's Inland News Minute. News is available on PE.com and in the Press Enterprise. We have feeds on Facebook and Twitter. And, of course, we have mobile apps for your iPad and smartphones. I'm Liam Trichard. Thanks for watching. Stay dry.